Let's begin with the practicality, the immediacy, the local nature of worker co-ops as a central feature of socialism. Transforming your workplace from a place where you did the work somebody else told you to do and lived with the results of what somebody else decided, but transforming it into a place where you are part of a decision-making apparatus, where you participate in designing and directing and not just performing uh, like a trained SEAL, this is something that will transform people's lives. They will understand that. It will be a socialism that's immediate about our lives on a daily basis, not something done far away in some government office uh, that's abstract in terms of how it functions. You, the working person, the majority, will be at the core of such a concept of socialism. It also makes socialism something that is democratic at the base. The power of the people will be focused on, embodied in the fact that the people own the wealth, the productive wealth of society. That's what's hampered democracies so far. You can have all the voting and everybody voting that you want, but if the power of money is concentrated in a tiny minority, they corrupt that. They will have influence based on their wealth and economic position that undermines the whole point and purpose of political democracy. What the worker co-op does is democratize the power and the wealth by putting it in the hands of working people. If you want the economy to work for the people, you got to put them in charge. If you want democracy to be genuine and not just a formality of voting, you've got to put the people in charge, and they have to be in charge of the economy. Otherwise, the minority that in capitalism controls the economy will also pervert the democracy. And I present the United States and other countries like it as prime examples. Imagine a political party, a socialist party in the United States, that advocated a transition from capitalist enterprises to worker co-ops. Here's how that party would work. It would be the contradiction of, the difference from, the opposition to Republicans and Democrats alike, because those are parties that depend on capitalists for their donations, by and large, do what capitalists want, support the capitalist system. I know that because they both say so over and over again. So the Socialist Party would be, no, no, here's what we're different. We are for the democratization of the workplace. And they would indeed push for laws, regulations, enabling worker co-ops to grow and expand. And in turn, the worker co-ops would be the local basis for support for the Socialist Party, just the way corporations across America, capitalist corporations, are the supports for Republican and Democratic parties. We would begin to see a real political debate in the United States. It would be remarkable, and the symbiosis, the relationship between a socialist party that did advocate something really different and the worker co-ops that would be, in a sense, its political base across the country is a winning formula for changing this society. In office, here's some of the things a Socialist Party could do. And indeed, the way is being shown by the Labor Party in England. One of the first things a Labor Party is committed to do, and a Socialist Party in America would do the same, is to make a law called the right of first refusal. No company can leave the country sell itself to another one, go public with stocks, or simply cease to exist without first giving its own workers the right of first refusal. That is, the workers can buy the company from whoever owns it now and convert it into a worker co-op. And if you're wondering where the workers would get the money to do that, the government, with a socialist leadership, would lend them the money, which is exactly what Mr. Corbyn and the Labor Party in England are proposing to do. A new socialism connected to and embracing worker co-ops as the transition from capitalism to a better system is a socialism that you're going to be hearing more and more about in the months and years to come.